today a look at a unique machine which won the 2013 award for best new consumer product by the SCAA, which is the Specialty Coffee Association of America. It's the Barista Express by Breville. This semi-automatic machine combines both brewing and grinding in one unit. And has some technical features you're typically only going to find on higher level consumer or prosumer machines. Hi, Mark and Morgan here from Whole Latte Love. You know, when you think of countries that design espresso machines, Italy usually comes to mind. And while the Italians have a long tradition of thoughtful design and craftsmanship, what we're looking at here is a thoroughly modern implementation of what it takes to make espresso and milk-based drinks designed by Breville, an Australian company known for innovative products. So what we've got is a grinder and espresso machine in one unit, and it turns out there's a lot to like here. Good design should be pleasing to look at, but beyond aesthetics, it needs to work well and be easy to use. And we think the Barista Express has what it takes. First, out of the box, it comes with everything you need, except for some good coffee beans and milk to make espresso and on up to all your favorite milk-based drinks, including lattes and cappuccinos. Usually when you buy a semi-automatic espresso machine, you either already have or will be buying a grinder. And with this machine, the grinder's built right in. And it's a pretty good one with stainless steel conical burrs and 16 grind settings. Yeah, I like the hopper on this one. You know, it's not large, but a hopper really isn't the place to be storing beans anyway. What's nice is when removed, the doors close so the beans stay put. This makes it easy to return beans to storage or change them out when switching between different types of coffee. Along with the 16 grind settings, you have adjustable automatic dosing for single and double shots as well as manual dosing. Just select single or double and place the portafilter in the holder, press in once and release. The grinder starts and then stops automatically. The amount dosed can be finely adjusted using the grind amount knob. For manual dosing, just press the portafilter in and hold. It will continue to grind until you release. Now with the grinder dispensing above the drip tray, you can expect some spillage there. But instead of having two areas to clean up, like if you had a separate grinder, all your mess is going to be contained in the one area. To brew, just lock the portafilter into the group head and press either the single or double shot button. These are preset to deliver about one and two ounces respectively. These can be reprogrammed by pressing the programming button, pressing a brew button to start, and then pressing the brew button again when the desired volume is reached. The machine comes with four filter baskets. It's got a single and double pressurized basket and single and double non-pressurized basket. With the pressurized baskets, little or no tamping is needed. With the non-pressurized baskets, the machine comes with a tamper for compressing the coffee in the portafilter. A convenient design touch, the tamper is magnetic and stores on the machine itself. The 54 millimeter portafilter is made of stainless steel, but it is smaller than the standard 58 millimeter commercial size portafilter. We mentioned that this machine has some brewing features typically found on higher end machines. The first is PID temperature control. PID results in extremely accurate brew water temperature control. This is an important element in producing consistent shots. The preset brewing temperature is user adjustable up or down by four degrees Fahrenheit each way in two degree increments. The second is what Breville refers to as the dry puck feature. Typically getting a drier, drier coffee puck requires the use of a specialized valve, which releases the pressure used during brewing and excess water. The result is a relatively dry coffee puck, which is easy to knock out of the portafilter after brewing. The machine also has a brewing pressure gauge. Using this, you will see the machine go through a short pre-infusion, which wets the coffee briefly with low pressure water for a fuller extraction. During pressure brewing, the gauge lets you know if you're creating the right brewing pressure for a proper espresso extraction. It's an aid that can help you dial in the proper combination of grind size, coffee dose, and tamping pressure. In our test, and with the help of that gauge, it took us about three attempts to dial in just the right grind, dose, and tamp for a very crema rich and perfect 25 second extraction. Another aid to brewing is the steam purge system. So after steamy milk, there's gonna be excess steam in the boiler. Now on most machines, you need to manually cool down the boiler after steamy milk and before brewing more espresso. With the purge system, excess steam is automatically released internally to the drip tray, so coffee is not burnt by residual steam in the boiler when espresso is brewed the next time. 
When you're ready to steam some milk for a latte or cappuccino, it takes the machine only about 30 seconds to come up to steam temperature. The steam wand is mounted on a 360 degree swivel joint, making it easy to position the included milk frothing pitcher. The steam wand is a pro-style single hole, giving the user complete control of the type of froth created. The Barista Express has a two liter water tank, and this can be filled at the machine or removed for filling at the sink. And in the Breville tradition of the machine coming with everything you need, it comes out of the box with a water filter. Next to the bean hopper is a cup warming surface for preheating cups. The drip tray is large and has an area which separates excess grounds from liquids. Behind the drip tray is a hidden tool storage area to hold the assorted cleaning tools that come with the machine. The drip tray has a pop-up indicator which reads empty me. And in the same vein is the clean me light which illuminates when a cleaning cycle is required using the included cleaning tablets. The Barista Express is wrapped in a brushed stainless steel finish and all food contact areas are certified BPA free. For me, the machine has a lot of features you would typically find on higher end consumer machines. And you know, I really like that built in grinder. It certainly makes for a machine grinder combo that takes up less counter space. And you know, this might sound a little bit trivial, but for me, something that stood out beyond the features and quality of the machine was the quality of the manual. Very clear, concise, and easy to understand. That's the Breville Barista Express. I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest on everything coffee. Whole Latte Love is your resource for everything coffee. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates on new coffee gear, plus hundreds of videos including how-tos, equipment reviews, recipes, expert technical advice, and more.